What's up you guys, welcome back to Simple Stick Builds. As you guys can tell, uh, that's how far I got with getting the Miata last time I did it. So uh, right now I'm gonna continue to at least try to sand everything down and paint everything and whatever needs to be zip tied together because it does have a mess of wires right here. I don't know how good you guys can see it, but uh, there is a gang of wires right here that's just a mess. I'm gonna try to zip tie it to the existing wiring due to the fact that this wire right here goes to a sensor on the headers in the motor. I'll show you right now in a little bit, but first I'm gonna leave that right here and I'm gonna move my way from back to front. So I'm gonna start sanding stuff down, clean it up and uh, spray painting it. So yeah guys, let's just get to it. And uh, if anybody wants to know how I took the soft top off, let me know down in the comments below because it's not that hard. It's just pretty much all those freaking uh, 10 millimeter bolt, 10 millimeter nuts and uh, some screws right here that you take off and super simple. All right, you guys, before I start uh, like sanding everything down and making sure what needs to be painted and what doesn't need to be painted, I'm removing the little uh, rain gutters things. I don't know what they're called. There are these things that go in here. Just making sure everything is clear of debris. As you guys can tell, there's a bunch of stuff in there. And I actually found a, a 10 millimeter uh, socket in here, just chilling. So uh, just making sure everything is clean. I know what's in here and what's not. Uh, Making sure this little gutter thing right here has a like clearance, so I'm putting my hand underneath, and I'm gonna throw a little bit of water in there. I'm not gonna record that, but it's like as soon as you uh, move this thing right here, there's a little thing underneath. Uh, I can't really show you guys. It's like literally right under the rear wheel, and it's like a little gutter thing. So when the water gets full in here, it goes down into there. As you guys can tell, it has a little spout right here that plugs into that. This gets full of water and it drains it there. That way, no water builds up right here. So yeah, guys, let me continue on removing some of these uh, wires just to the side because I don't want to cl clip them completely. So I can start painting stuff up here so it can look nice. And uh, I don't know, guys, let me know down in the comments below what do you guys think. Go back to a soft top or probably just get a hard top, a nice one, and... Uh, Make it look more decent in here. I don't I don't know, the soft top just takes up too much space right here. I'm not gonna be installing no carpet, but I am gonna be putting back the covers on the gas thing and that little metal cover that I had right here. So let me continue taking some stuff apart. Uh, I think I'm just gonna throw you guys on a time lapse because uh, this is kind of tedious. So yeah, guys, let me just uh, set the camera up. Alright you guys, I cleaned it with a bottle of Windex, nothing special, it's not going to be a professional paint job or anything. Uh, I actually show you the paint right now, but I did buy uh, this right here, uh, 150 high grit. So I'm going to get sending with this. I'm not going to do the whole thing, I'm just going to do some rough spots where you see little white stuff right there. And then I'm going to go over it with the paint, you know, nothing special. It's, uh, I don't know where the paint is, but I'm going to grab it right now and then I'll show you after I sand it down. So yeah, let me put you guys on a time lapse. All right, you guys, I sanded it down with 150 grit. Now I'm gonna go ahead and wind, uh, put some Windex on it again just to pick up the debris that's left over. And then I'll show you the paint that I'm, uh, that I'm gonna paint it with. I'm not gonna show you that again, me cleaning it again, so uh, let me just show you the paint that I picked up. 
All right, you guys, so this is the paint that I got. This is as close as I can get to the paint of the car. So I'm gonna try to spray this and let's see how it goes since uh, I didn't buy primer or anything. It's a uh, Regal Red and uh, it's kind of windy right now. So let's hope it doesn't just fly away. I don't really care if it gets overspray on the Miata because I might paint it later or even wrap it. But uh, let's see how good this lays down on it. And it looks pretty much the same, so wish me luck, hope this looks good. Just uh, use the Windex, clean them up super good. I'm not going to record that, but look how they look now. You guys can tell it's freaking filthy. It has a little clip right here, so you guys might want to remove that clip while you guys are at it. And I can't do it right now, so I'm going to see if I can get some little pliers and squeeze it. But uh, let me show you a before and after. So let me clean this up real quick, and uh, I'll show you how it looks. I'm doing it to both sides, so remember, vice versa. Everything has two sides on each thing, so let's get to cleaning this. Alright guys, all the tools I'm using is a flathead, a screwdriver, and this 10-piece set with this, this ratchet. That's it. It's a double-sided ratchet just in case anything big comes across me. And I am using like uh, the big boys, uh, like the pliers things just in case I have a bigger bolt than, uh, what's the biggest bolt on here? 14, because there will be bigger bolts like your seatbelt bolts. Those are I think are like 17s or 16s. I'm not really sure what they are. But uh, yeah guys. This is all I'm using, a flathead and a screwdriver, that's it. I didn't buy everything in one sitting because your boy got to save money too, you know what I'm saying? I bought these, this this was 10 bucks or something like that, and this was another, this was like not even 10 bucks, this was like 8 bucks and it's cool because I showed another video, this shit's extendable and it's cool because it's like, well yeah, I just, I just think it's cool. <laughs> so basically all that cost me a total of like under 50 bucks and that's what I'm doing this with. And like I said... It can be done guys if you guys want to get your interior you're like damn what should i need do i need the greaser no windex is fine windex some sandpaper take your time you know we ain't all got freaking money or a shop to paint our shit at so yeah guys but like i said like i was talking about uh these guards right here for the drain they're all clean windex has a paper towels it took me not even 10 minutes on both so yeah guys let me show you uh let me show you how the paint looks on the back portion of the Miata because it looks dry. I did just two coats guys, that's it. No more than two coats, so let me show you how it looks real quick. Alright you guys, so this is how the back is turning out. Let me jump in this dirty ass Miata. <laughs> so guys, this is how it's looking so far. It's not the best shine that you would want and I'm fine with that. It doesn't have to be glossy because I do want to drift this car and I don't want no glare up in my face. But I don't know guys. Let me know down in the comments below what do you guys think so far. Right now I'm going to think I'm going to just paint the covers that go here. That way I can just install the covers already and move off to the bottom portion. I'm not going to paint in here due to the fact it is covered. But I did clean it up somewhat with the vacuum and some uh, Windex. But it's still very filthy. The good thing is there is no rat's nest or anything in here. So uh, now I'm going to proceed to move to, I think I'm going to do the passenger side first. Uh, because there is no steering wheel. Uh, let me sit down so I can show you exactly what's going on up front. Uh, this wire right here, there's a sensor that goes to the headers and I mentioned to you guys I was going to show you but I totally forgot but there is a sensor on the headers and like I always say this is my first Miata so I do not want to touch these uh, these wires because it goes to that sensor. All these, uh, this mess, I don't know what it is. I'm going to cap all these wires up that are not being used and if anybody knows down in the comments, let me know what this thing is. This is what it is. It's backwards. So yeah, guys, I'm going to zip tie that, fix it up nice and neatly. You know me. I'm going to try to do my best. Uh, the zip ties were freaking bought at Harbor Freight, so 
I don't know what the quality is on them, but as long as they can zip tight to that, we'll be good. So let's get to doing that real quick. All right, you guys, this is the passenger side. I already uh, removed the ECU and I kind of bolted it up here like so. I'm gonna pretty much just sand this whole thing down. I'm not gonna record that because it's the same process as with that. So I'm gonna sand it down and then I'll show you how it looks after it's all sanded down. And then uh, we're gonna hit it with some paint. Like I said before, we're not gonna do this side up here. All this is gonna be covered by a shield. So uh, yeah, let's just get uh, to sanding this whole thing and then I'll show you how it looks right after I'm done. All right, you guys, as you guys can tell, I took off a lot of uh, the resin or glue, whatever it was on it, that's still on the opposite side. I took it off. It took me a while because I was using a little knife to scrape some of it off, but it came off. That's the good thing. And uh, I went ahead and just painted uh, the back panel red right now. As you guys can tell, it's getting kind of late. And uh, I was drinking a little beer right there just to keep a little bit of warm, you know, that blue moon. Uh, but yeah guys, let me know what you guys think about how it's turning out. If you guys follow me on IG or even Snap, uh, you guys will see the finished product. I'm not going to continue recording everything. So the next video, everything's going to be all done and painted. And then we'll go from there guys. Alright you guys, as you guys can tell, uh, I already did the passenger side. I try to sand as much as I could. I still have to do the driver's side, but that's, uh, I'm gonna do that on a different day. And I'm just gonna leave it as is. So that's it for the video, guys, pretty much. It's just, I don't wanna time lapse me cleaning that side and doing the same thing. I'm just gonna finish that another day. And uh, on the next video, you guys will see the finished product of everything just being done. And then I'm gonna try to install the dash and fix the wiring. So let me know what you guys think about it. I think it came out good for being under uh, a couple dollars, well a couple bucks, I always did like about 40 bucks, so not bad. Alright you guys, so that's it for the video. As you guys can tell, I did the top portion, well the top back portion, and the passenger tub, due to the fact that it's really time consuming, but I'm going to leave uh, the driver's side for another day, so I'm not going to record that because I don't want to bore you guys. Uh, basically, I'm just using Windex, uh, sandpaper 150 grit, and a vacuum cleaner, and uh, just a little scrape tool to scrape some of the residue off from the carpet, that sticky stuff. And the cans, I'm getting them from Home Depot. They're Rust-Oleum red paint. They don't match the paint that good, but it works for me, so that's what matters. Uh, let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about it. Uh, throw any ideas what should I do with the dash, because I've seen a bunch of photos on Google, half dash, full dash, and some people are even just leaving the bar. I want to do like a full drift car build, but I also want to be able to take it to like shows and drive it on the street once in a while, you know, just to enjoy the car. So let me know down in the, com in the comments down below what you guys think. I'm a little tired right now, so please give me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. Turn the post notification bell so you guys can know every time I upload. With that being said, guys, peace out. See you guys on the next one.